What's up, everyone? Notice something different about me? That's right, I just saved a bunch of money on my car insurance. For those of you watching way in the future who are watching my videos maybe out of order, just today, earlier today, I had long hair and a beard, and so now I look very different than I did just, just a few hours ago, and much different from my last video. And man, the change is incredible isn't it? I look, I look so much younger and I look so, my face is so thin. What the frick happened? So it got me thinking about appearances and how as your appearance changes, it, when you try out new styles, especially with hair and facial hair, how it affects how people look at you and perceive you and how it affects your perception of yourself. Because let me tell you, I feel different, like it's subtle maybe, but it is profound. It always gets to a point where with the long hair, I just feel like, I just feel like things are getting out of control. Life is becoming too chaotic and it's being represented by my hair going everywhere. And so when I cut it short, now that I've got it Back to, like, I look right now like I did when I started my channel over two years ago. It's like back to the starting point. I should just end my channel now because we've come full circle. But now I feel much more, like, in control and, like, I can go out there and, you know, do stuff. I feel like a world beater right now, whatever that means. I feel like a weight has been lifted off of me. And I'm just, uh, this is, the thing about perception, though, is that, what do I look like to you all? Tell me. It's sort of like, I feel like there are people who, you all know me, because you're my, you're my pals, right? But there are people who probably have looked at the thumbnails of my videos and seen me with a beard and, long, and or long hair, depending on what video they're looking at, and been like, I don't want to watch that guy. What does he know? The guy's a freaking, you know, hippie, long hair at Madison Square. What's up with that? So now people who don't know me when they first look at me are going to get a totally different impression than if they had just seen me yesterday. You know what I mean? I mean, I look 10 years younger. The other thing about a haircut is you think that people, it's like you value people for different reasons depending on what their hair looks like. Let me explain. When a man's hair is longer, what do you think about them? You feel like they're, they're a bit more... Um, a bit more freewheeling, maybe. Maybe they're a bit more in touch with the spirit world. I don't know. Maybe they don't care so much about what other people think. They're okay with bucking social norms, depending on how long the hair is. Or if their hair is maybe just a little long, just a little shaggy, but not too bad, it can make them feel like boyish, youthful, approachable. And then when you've got, you know, kind of a, a really tight looking modern look what does that say it's like oh this guy is is clean cut he's together um does it make me more approachable or less approachable i don't know i mean in some senses the beard being gone i think makes me look like a bit friendlier but to me i think the the hair being very uh sharp also kind of makes makes you a little intimidating because it's like, oh, this guy, this guy is together. At least from my point of view. I don't know what the ladies would react like, you know, because when I'm approaching other men, not for like a date, but you know, just to just to say hi, you know, to be pals. When I approach a guy with long hair, I feel a little less intimidated because I feel like, okay, this guy you know, he's, he's a little bit more mellow. And when, and when a guy's hair is like how I have mine right now, I get a little bit worried. Like this guy is going to be a little bit uptight, maybe a little bit controlling the way he's controlled his hair. You know, he might jump all over me if I talk to him. I'm the exact same guy I was yesterday, but people will have entirely different understandings of who I am initially, you know, perspectives, just based on something as simple as how much, how much of this dead follicle stuff is coming out of my head. Here's a whole other 
aspect of hair, the self-expression element of it, and what it symbolizes. Like when you get a major change of hairstyle or beard style, it's a big shift. Like there is there is a thing inside all of your brains right now that is saying, why did Frank do this now? What does this symbolize? What does this mean for him going forward? And I would think the same thing of you if all of a sudden you changed your hair. Now, I might not think it consciously, but there's just that feeling of, oh, this is a signal that something is different or that they're taking a different approach in life. You know, like with a woman, if I see a girl I know and she usually has long hair and all of a sudden she gets like a boy cut, that's a drastic change. And it's like, oh, she's trying to say something here. And maybe it's just something like, out with the old, in with the new in general. And that's sort of how I feel right now, but there's just so much symbolism behind it all. And for me, like, growing my hair out is just something I've always kind of done in cycles, and I think it's just fun to grow your hair out. And not a lot of guys, it's not that rare, but it's more common for a guy to have short hair. And so I like to have long hair just as a way of standing out, a, a bit of peacocking, you know, to draw attention to myself because I need, I need everyone's attention. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I don't, but the, the beard was a whole different thing. And if you are very familiar with my channel, you know that I went through a breakup in November, and that's, what, what do you know? Shortly after that, I started growing the beard. And it seems to me like, for men, growing a beard can be kind of an expression of, I'm going through a rough time. I'm going through a little bit of grieving right now. Let me just point out a few. Paul McCartney, after the Beatles broke up, though in fairness, he also grew a beard during the Let It Be sessions before they broke up, but regardless. Conan O'Brien, after the, the Tonight Show was taken away from him by Jay Leno, he grew a beard. Coincidence? It, do, it doesn't seem so to me. Al Gore, after he lost the presidential election, dude grew a beard. It's a way of outwardly showing to the world as a man F this, you know, I'm my own man. I don't need any of you. Like, because a beard, especially when you grow it out long, a long beard is a way of making yourself less approachable. And it's a way of, it's a signal to everyone else that, whoa, you better watch out because I, uh, I can grow a beard. And if you've ever grown a beard out, you know that it is, you, you just feel, a, you feel more powerful, I guess, in a way. Though, ironically, I think I feel a bit more powerful now that I've, you know, cleaned up a bit. And maybe it's just because now I feel more social freedom, like I am, I will be more acceptable in other people's eyes. Whereas the power you have with a, with a long beard and long hair as a man is that you feel solid in yourself and you, you feel like, you know, I am a rock, I am an island kind of thing. And the beard is a symbol that I don't need no one else. And I'm not sure why that's a symbol of that, but it's, I don't know. Maybe that's just me. And I had been wanting to cut my hair and my beard for a while, and I was thinking I should really link this up with some major shift in my channel, but I'm like, I can't, I can't come up with a shift in my channel and my content that is warranted at this time. Or I can't, I can't figure it out fast enough, and I just want to get this done with. But definitely, the, this is a, a marker. Things are going to be different going forward, and I don't even know how. And it's the same for any of you. If you switch up your look, it's a symbol. It's a symbol that things are different, even if you don't know how. I'm the same person, but I look different. And in some ways, I am different. It's like I'm a different person. You look at pictures of people when they, when they have different styles, beard, no beard, long haired, whatever. And it's like you're looking at two different people or three different people, and in a way, they are. 
it's so interesting to me to think about those the sim, the symbology you know the what does it mean what does it all mean and are you really the same person or are you different are you even though like clearly i'm <laughs> yes i am the same person but what does it mean when you change how you look so much that you're kind of a different person what does it mean let me know in the comments. Leave me a detailed comment about if you've ever changed up your look a lot and how did you feel. And also, selfishly, let me know like what, what your impression is of me now. Do you think I'm more approachable, less approachable? Do you think I seem uh, less wise, perhaps? Do I seem more energetic, even though I'm... Uh, I was looking at myself in the mirror, as I often do, and it just felt like my face was moving around more, which I don't think it was. It's just, you can see it better. Let me know your impressions. Thanks for watching. Smash like. Watch some other video I'm going to put here. Subscribe. Till next time, stay cool and attractive. Mm -hmm.